Let us create a generic chat UI that we can use with any LLM solution we create in the future. In our previous video, we learned how to extend the Mac OS Spotlight search, tested it on resumes stored in a folder to only retrieve resumes matching a specific criteria. However, the only way we could interact with such a system was through a command line interface. Not exactly the dream. Now, we want our solution to look somewhat like that of ChatGPT. As we saw in the first video, Olama Web UI offers a very similar user experience. However, Olama Web UI has primarily been designed to allow interactions with raw, out of the box LLMs. Our motivation here is to use Olama Web UI as the UI for our custom local rack solution. So, let's get started. Our intuition here is that the Olama Web UI expects certain API endpoints to be available to interact with Olama's API. For example, the chat, generate, list endpoints. After some research, I found that the main API endpoint of our concern is the chat endpoint, which is invoked when we send a message in the chat. So if we can develop a wrapper which plugs on top of Olama and just modifies the chat endpoint to point to our custom solution instead of the Olama endpoint, we can successfully use Olama Web UI for our user experience. And that's exactly what we'll do in this video. Let's start by setting up the environment. To build our wrapper API, we'll use Fast API. We'll make pass-through requests to the Olama's API for all the other endpoints that we don't want to handle. Let's build and configure Olama's web UI. Let's now configure the .env file. We want our wrapper API to sit in the middle of Olama web UI and Olama. So we'll modify the configuration here to point to our wrapper API instead of Olama's API. Let's now build the Olama web UI frontend. We can now install the Olama web UI backend dependencies. Moving on, let's configure the backend to use our wrapper API instead. Finally, we can now serve Olama Web UI backend. Let's now start with the wrapper API. Let's begin by writing a pass-through wrapper. We'll use base HTTP middleware to intercept all client requests, send them to Olama's API, and return the response to the client. We'll add our middleware to the Fast API application. We'll use UVCorn to run our Fast API application on port 5000. Let's do a quick test of our wrapper. Make sure to have Olama running on port 11434. Great, so our pass-through wrapper is working as expected. Let's now overwrite the slash API slash chat endpoint in our wrapper. We can begin by excluding the endpoint from the pass-through wrapper by adding a condition in the middleware. We can now customize the chat endpoint to put some dummy response. The processing logic is just a placeholder for now and pretty much echoes back the request content. A few things to note here. The chat endpoint is a streaming endpoint. We read the input as an event stream and we'll format the dummy output to the new line delimited JSON format. Let's now test our customized chat endpoint. Voila! Our dummy echo based response is working as expected. Let's now modify the chat API to invoke our rag solution. If you can recall from the repo, the code to our main function looks somewhat like this. We can now import and plug this function anywhere we want to invoke the LL empowered search. How cool is that? Let's go back to our main.py for this project and change the process function like so. That's it. That's all that was required to link our RAG solution to the API endpoint. We can now test the solution to see if it works. Works like a charm. This brings us to the end of this video. In this video, we have successfully designed a rapid and efficient approach to provide a user interface for all future projects, utilizing an existing open source project, which is Olama Web UI as a foundation. Additionally, we have gained substantial insights into streaming APIs, a commonly utilized element in the realm of generative AI and LLMs. We have also explored the API structure required by the Olama Web UI and developed a wrapper for Olama. This wrapper intercepts requests intended for Olama and redirects them to the appropriate endpoints in our solution, seamlessly integrating with the Olama framework.